Hi, my name is Reese Bicewitz, and I'm here today with Allison Thurber, um, who has worked with um, the Girls on the Run program in the past. Can you tell us a little bit about um, Girls on the Run and your experience with it? Sure. So Girls on the Run is a national youth-based recreational program for girls um, that sort of incorporates running and social skill building um, in a group setting for middle school, early, early middle school age girls. Um, and so as a psychotherapist by profession, it was a nice way of sort of blending some of the interests that I have in female development with um, an activity that's very close to my heart uh, through running. That's so awesome. So um, how do you think that running could be beneficial for young kids? Like so running, I mean, I know that for myself personally, I started running at a pretty young age, I don't know, I was probably 15, um, and it has been probably one of the few constants in my entire life. It's it's sort of taken me through a number of ups and downs um, over the course of my, whatever, 37 years of life. Um, but I also have watched how instrumental it's been in sort of cultivating feelings of confidence and... Um, capacity in the girls that I've worked with. I mean, Girls on the Run was sort of the most explicit example of that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, running's just kind of one of those things that's the most tangible way of like setting a goal, feeling like you're not really sure if you can meet that goal. And then, you know, as, mm -hmm. as something as, as concrete as like crossing a finish line, serving as like evidence that, you know, if you work at something, you can get there. Yeah. Um, and so I think in that really simple way, running is a really nice sort of, um, opportunity for kids to experience what mm -hmm. what training and practice does and what teamwork can do to sort of cultivate a sense of community around mm -hmm. running. Mm -hmm. So you said you started running in high school? or Yeah, mm -hmm. so I actually started running, I mean strangely when I look back on it, I was not an athlete as, <laughs> as a teenager. I was like mm -hmm. an artsy kind of kid, um, but I always ran and I mm -hmm. did run track for a season and strangely I remember I loved training like I mm -hmm. loved the long runs that our track team would do but I hated competition it like mm -hmm. just it was overwhelming to me it like created so much anxiety and so I quit the track team mostly because I didn't like the, the competition, competition yeah. which I always knew was strange because the other kids would like love the track meets but like hated <laughs> practice and I was like the one who wanted to be a practice so so even though I quit track like running just continued I mean I would still run miles and miles you know it, whenever I could and at different points in my life I was running more and other points less but um, yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's definitely sustained me in a, in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. So, um, you've continued running today. How do you make time to train, um, considering you have two little boys? Two little boys. Um, yeah, so I was very involved in Girls on the Run and then managed to have two boys. So that, like, sort of <laughs> threw, you know, um, I mean, for starters, my, I have a four-year-old and a eight-month-old, um, and my four-year-old is, like, constantly in motion so <laughs> I would have no choice but to, con to continue running he also um I love that he recognizes running as something that is like a really important part of my identity I remember when I was pregnant <laughs> I was pregnant with my second child you know towards the last you know couple months of my pregnancy I had basically stopped running it was just too painful mm -hmm. and too whatever yeah. And I remember my son saying to me one day, like in all earnestness, he was sort of like, mommy, I know it's really hard that you can't run. And then when I came home from the hospital, literally the next day, he looked at me and he said, mommy, now you can go running again. Like he just, he knows that. Mm -hmm. And so it's one of those things that like he gets excited coming to my races. Mm -hmm. um, he has started doing his own kids races and like, you know, mm -hmm. gets super excited about that. Um, he's four, but... And most four-year-olds I know, like, will not sit still in a stroller for very long. Mm -hmm. But he will go on my runs with me if he knows that, like, he can get out for parts of it and go running alongside me. So mm -hmm. the other day we were on the bike trail, and I'm thinking to myself, like, there's no way he's going to sit still for this. But sure enough, like, he would get out, he would run for a stretch, he would get back in and, like, take a sip of water. And, he like, it's just, it's already mm -hmm. something that he recognizes as, like, That's a awesome. part of our mm -hmm. lifestyle. And mm -hmm. um, so I think there's... And you can see with little kids, like, how how seriously they take, like, mm -hmm. a task like that and, like, really being able to assert their sense of, you know, strength and willpower. And um, so, yeah, for him, like, all, the running is just an extension of all these other things that he's trying to develop and feeling capable and confident. And, mm -hmm. um, and I love that. I love that running gives that to him. Yeah, that's awesome. So 
Will he be running the New Haven Rotaries one <laughs> He will. And so in a perfectly full circle moment, this is actually the sweetest part of all of it, is so I did the 20K um, a couple years ago when I was not pregnant. And then last year I was pregnant with my now eight-month-old. Um, so I decided just to run the 5K, but my son was insistent that he wanted to run the kids' race. He was three <laughs> at the time. Um but he did not want me anywhere near. Like, I was not mm. going to run it with him. He mm -hmm. was going to run it by himself. Um, I know that the kids' run can become a little bit, you know, like, it can be a lot for a mm -hmm. three-year-old. So I had actually asked one of the girls on the run, girls, who he adores, mm -hmm. to run it with him. So she was 9 or 10, I can't remember. Um, so she ran the kids' race with him. I mean, she was amazing. She, mm -hmm. like, knew to kind of keep him back and let the fast kids kind of go ahead. Mm -hmm. or so... Like, of all of my New Haven Road Race memories, my favorite one is seeing him come around with one of the girls on the run, girls, mm -hmm. holding her hand and coming across the finish line. He was so excited. Um, and so this year, I asked this girl, this family, um, again, if she'd be willing to run the, mm -hmm. the road race with him because he insists he won't only run it with this, mm -hmm. this one girl. <laughs> He's like, she, you know, he has a very special place in his heart mm -hmm. for her. Um, and so she's going to run with him, but only if I will run the 5k with her. So she's, so she's going to run with so my child and then I'll get to oh. run with her to run the, um, to run. So yeah, I mean, it's like, it's a way in which we've also, you know, cultivated relationships with other families in the community mm -hmm. and have really like, um, been able to build, build on really important relationships in our lives. Um, and running has been a big, big piece of that. So so yes, that's certainly like one of my most favorite memories. I will be there this summer in some in some way, whether it's mm -hmm. running the. Um, so yeah, that's awesome. Thank you so much for talking to me today. You're welcome. I'll see you on Labor Day. <laughs>